While most of us here in Washington were preoccupied last week with other matters, the tax cut bill, sexual harassment charges, something really significant happened in Iraq. The Iraqi army, along with uh, its helpers in the U.S. military, retook the last town in Iraq, Rawa, that the Islamic State or ISIS had controlled. This basically marks the end of ISIS as a force that could take and hold territory in Iraq and Syria. Three years in, uh, the ISIS forces don't seem to be able to hold any territory, much less create a caliphate or a nation of their own, which they attempted to do over the last three years in both Iraq and Syria. That's a big moment. Now, the question is, where do things go from here? Well, clearly there's still problems in Iraq and Syria that were created by ISIS that still need to be solved. The Iraqi government has to consolidate control over the areas of the country that it lost to ISIS. That'll take some time. And in Syria, there's a much broader civil war uh, of which the fight against ISIS was only a part. That's still got to be resolved. That's a very long-term thorny problem. That certainly hasn't been resolved yet. But still, the ability to say that ISIS can no longer hold territory is a big moment. ISIS hasn't gone away as a threat, though. It can still create problems in several ways. First, it can and probably will launch guerrilla-style attacks against uh, U.S. and allied forces in Iraq and Syria, even without controlling territory in those two countries. It can still be a terrorist force and a force that inspires terror attacks. We've seen plenty of that in the last few years, and so that's going to continue to be a problem. And increasingly, ISIS has moved into Afghanistan is creating problems there. Just last week, it was behind a bombing, or apparently behind a bombing, that killed nine people in Kabul. So Afghanistan looks like a new uh, target for ISIS forces. That's going to have to be a problem to contend with down the road as well. But still, it's worth taking a, a stop, a pause here, and noting the moment at which ISIS really stopped to be a force that could control territory in the Middle East.